Whatever. We've got to get a roof on this thing. This beam has got too much sag for me. We built this beam. It's a, it was a learning experience. I learned a lot. So the next time I build a beam, I'll know more how to do it. But it's got a little bit too much sag for me. So what we're going to do is take this beam, cut the post off in the back the proper distance, move this beam to the back. You'll have to come put the hold the tape measure on the bottom, get my mark. Yeah, that's plenty to hang over there. All right, now take the bottom one and push it towards me. Keep going, keep going. Whoop. have a problem here then. It's not strong enough? Oh no, this is plenty strong enough. I just don't have enough room. I'll have to cut out a notch. got going on now we've got all the purlings up obviously we got the front uh, header up on the other side we've got some slats pulled up through here and that's what we're getting ready to work on now is the slats Alright, so we've got the purlings up uh, all the way down, they're, they're, they're nailed down on the front. Eventually I'll probably come down through here and maybe every other one put a, a strap from the top just in case we get some updraft at some point. But anyway, uh, i got to come back now and nail the back side down and once I do that then we'll, part, we'll put the straps on the top and then start laying tin and hopefully we can get this done today. Yeah, it's supposed to rain and get nasty, nasty, nasty over the next few days. Nasty. He likes his new jacket, but it's a little small. We're going to have to look one for an extra large. That's a large, but goodness gracious. He does like it. <laughs> Keeps him a little bit warm. Hi there. You like your new jacket.
here it is with all of the uh, purlings up and the slats up. Now we're ready to put tin on. It looks pretty good. It's not bad. You know, it's not perfect by any means. This is not a, supposed to be a perfect roof. But I do, I do have a perfect tractor operator down here. She's done, she's done very, very awesome and not killed me. So that is, in my opinion, that's perfect. She had a nervous breakdown. She said. Anyway, looks good. I'm, I'm excited about it all. Plus, it's been a hawk flying over, singing to us all afternoon. You want to go home? I think he wants to go home. He had enough time. pounds of goodness goodness gracious Well, There's not much perspective from up here, it's just a tin roof, but it's our tin roof and we've got to do a little trim, some little, little dinky do stuff and then I think it, it'll it'll be waterproof and that's all that's important. Hey, <laughs> Gizmo, you ready to go home, buddy? Listen, we've got most of the roof up. I was one piece of tin short, uh, so I gotta go back and get one more piece of tin. Uh, but it's still enough up there right now that's gonna protect the sawmill and we're gonna be able to continue to work. So, so a couple pieces of trim, one more piece of tin, and we're gonna call this finished until the spring. But what we're gonna do next is start getting the sawmill cranked back up again. We got a bunch of poplar and pine that we're gonna, they're cut up for purlings for the pole barn. This is kind of being thrown together and it's that's okay because that's what it's supposed to be. It's just temporary building. 
But we're really taking our time with the pole barn and getting everything exactly right because when we get through with it, we want it to look nice. Listen, I appreciate you watching the channel. It means the world to us if you will subscribe. We just went over 50,000 subscribers and I, I really appreciate that. It, it's unbelievable that we've found 50,000 people in the world that are interested in what we're doing. That just amazes me. But I do appreciate you guys for doing it. And listen, God bless, have a great day. You gonna ride up in the elevator with me again? What you think about that? Hmm? You gonna get a basket? I think he just wanna go home. So he had all the farming today that he wants. And I am a homestead dog part-time. Hmm? Part-time homestead dog. He said, I don't want to do it full-time. All right, let's get out of here. Look at you, you're all excited too, ain't you? It's like, yeah, let's do it. Let's go home. Let's go. Oh, let's do it. Let's go. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> I can't go over here. <laughs>